Okay, so uh, the reason why I'm not showing you outside is because it's raining really heavily and it's 40 degrees. So we're going to uh, review Mexican food today. I've already had a chip. I've already cheated before I even started filming. So uh, let me introduce you who's with me today. Dude, what's up? Hey, what's hey. happening? Hey. Looking where, forward to it. Where are we? We are at Ranchero Cantina. Right. Friend of mine, Joe. Uh-huh. Supernova. Supernova. Yeah. Not just a Nova, but a super uh, Supernova, one. that's awesome. right. <laughs> All right. It's probably Nueve, but Supernova is what <laughs> <Great. I got. laughs> Don't worry, my Hispanic viewers will correct you. That's right. Before we look at the menu, I want to I wanna talk about these screw chairs, dude. Look at these chairs. Is that cool? Yeah, exactly. I'm serious. It's awesome, isn't it? Authentic. I mean, look at they're They're really nice guys. Very comfortable. I'm in one right now, and I fit in it. <laughs> you know it's comfortable. All right, so the chips, the chips are, uh, let me get that in. The chips are homemade and so are the salsa. There's no doubt about it. They come out nice and warm and they give you your salsa in one of these things. Then you, we poured out two of them. But I mean, let's, let's be real, all right? So look at the ingredients in that. That's, that's real salsa made here. Not like the tomato paste everywhere else in Tennessee is serving. All right, so she brought us the more vibrant Sauces. This is the green one. This has avocado in it, right? I believe so. Yes. And, and then it has and jalapeno. And yes. And jalapeno. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So that's but green, green, green. I can't give green. you any more because I think the rest of it's. No, no, secret. I don't need okay. it. I don't need <laughs> it. Yeah, I don't need the rest, guys. Just, just trying to know where it gets its green color from. Probably it's both avocado and jalapeno, and then the red. How's the red? You tried them both. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like better? That's more flavorful. This has got some kick to it, some spice. So the red's hotter? No, it's not hotter. It's spicier. Spicy. This has more heat, this has more spice. That's crazy how you say that. I've never heard anybody say it, but it's true. Yeah, it is true. It totally makes sense. Yeah. This is, now this is horchata. Mm -hmm. And what, what's in this? What is it made from? That one, uh, it's like rice milk or something, right? I can no idea. somebody that yeah, can you? because I don't even make it, so. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I've seen it all the time. You got one now, too. Yeah. Look how big these cups are, dude. Look okay. <laughs> um, Okay, I got a lot of horchata. Hope I like it. That's what it is. My is it good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's great. It's like a sweet rice milk. Yep. It's like make rice pudding and drain it off and that's what I'm drinking. Yep. Okay, here we go. I think it's cinnamon, but it, it's, it may have both because I'm bouncing back and forth in my mouth. It sound, tastes like kind of cinnamon and, and nutmeg. Um, it's like drinking rice pudding. That's what it tastes like. And it's really good. Really sweet. And it's taking the burn out of my mouth. So that's all good. So it's rice, milk. Rice, milk. Sugar. Sugar. Cinnamon. cinnamon. And vanilla. Oh, and vanilla. And vanilla that's right. Nutmeg. Yes. And it's, it's kind of like rice pudding, yeah. but just the liquid form of it. Okay, so that's your burrito. What's that called again? It's got a shrimp burrito. Uh -huh. um, it's made like a real. It's got all the fixings, the... Pico de gallo, the, the guacamole, all that stuff on the inside. All right, go ahead. I'm just going to watch you cut in. Okay. <laughs> look at that. That thing's loaded. That's right. And that look, is. it's not filled with like rice and beans. It's filled with good stuff. That's right. right. There we go. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> and then I've got something a little bit different. It's got a lot more on the outside and less on the inside. My burrito's under there, and I got a steak burrito. Let me cut into that and show you what it looks like. So you can see exactly what I have here. The steak is pretty loaded in there. Both sides, guacamole, sour cream, they didn't skim. Beans and rice, it's all good. I'm gonna take my red sauce now and I'm just gonna pour it on top. Cause I love it like that. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna film you take that bite there. Uh huh. <laughs> you were just so happy, dude. You're like me, <laughs> food is great. It's awesome. That's right. I love it. Oh, you totally <laughs> chopped it up. Yeah. Oh, look, that's what was inside. Now it's outside. Yeah. And it got the cheese on everything now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's kind of an interesting way to eat it. Let's get a shot of this. See that right there? Oh, uh, look at that cheese. I asked for that kind of cheese. He got the kind of runny stuff, and I like the stringy stuff. It's just the California man, I guess. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Wow, that meat, that meat is seasoned so well. It's really important. I know you got sauce and everything, but in a, in a good Mexican restaurant, 
all the meat has to be seasoned and treated specially. The pork, uh, no matter what kind of meat you get, it has to be taken care of. And when you bite into it, you can really tell. It's almost like that meat has a charbroil taste to it. It's really awesome. Who, who, who do we have here? This is Jose or Joseph. He's my friend. You have a and friend? This is his restaurant, yeah. He's is this like one. your only friend? He's like the half of one. <laughs> oh, half, half of one, right. <laughs> the good half. Jose, yeah. can, can I ask you some questions? Yeah. All right, how long you been here? Uh, nine months. Nine months. Okay. And is this your first time at a restaurant, or you've done restaurants before? Yes, first time. First time? Yeah. How's it going out here? Because you're right on Main Street. You're in the heart of it all. Look at he knows yeah, it. Good. He knows it. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. Good. And then what? Um, what is the? What is your favorite thing on the whole menu that you love the best? The seafood. The seafood. Yeah. All right. Cool. So you're really proud of your seafood. Yeah. All right. When the restaurant owner says he's proud of the seafood, it's safe. It's clean. It's good. Yeah. Right, right. You're you're, you're a picky. You're picky on your seafood, right? Yeah. All right, cool. And um, and the other thing is, um, you have deep fried ice cream and flan and everything, don't you? Yeah, you have the whole thing. All right, who Tasty makes your good. salsa? Who makes salsa? Uh, My kitchen guy. Your kitchen does. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, because thank nobody you. in Tennessee knows what salsa is. Yeah. They're serving tomato paste. It's fresh. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. The, yours is really good. Yeah. Thank you so More much. Authentic. Thank you. And this is flan, right? Yeah, flan. And wh what is flan? What's it made out of? Do you know? Or I what? don't know how. Is it? My wife it's like custard. Oh, your wife <laughs> makes it. Wait, I'm looking to say, you know, I don't know. <laughs> then, no, it's made out of flan. It. Yeah, flan. <laughs> That's good. Do you want to taste? Do you want it warm? I'll, oh, no, I'll, I'll just take a small bite of yours. But you go ahead and try it first. Like That's what I figured is a, a custard. It's sugar and milk. <laughs> Smooth on your tongue, right? It's good? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, well. yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so now that he didn't know what flan was, I know what you're going to do in the comment section. You're going to write, everybody's going to tell me what flan is. So go ahead, put it in the comment section. I don't care. Because uh, maybe I'll make it on my cooking show, okay? But this is this is homemade here. Uh, your wife makes this, right? All right, I'm going to take this a little bit. And it... It's it's kind of um, a custardy feel, uh, kind of like a pumpkin pie feel with no crust. It's just the goodness. It's good. It's creamy. It's like eating the insides of a pie. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, yeah. First restaurant review with my buddy Brad. And dude, you're one for one. You recommended this place? That's right. What do you think? It was awesome. Yeah? Yes, and I'm not being partial because I know Joe, but if you want real Mexican food, this is a place to go. That's been the best since I've since he opened up. Cool. Okay guys, I don't know Jose, but I will tell you, being from California, this is the best Mexican restaurant. I still love the taqueria down the town down the street, but I'll tell you, this is the best Mexican restaurant so far I've had in Tennessee. Come check it out right here on Main Street. Tell them you saw it on Jack of the Go, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.